What are the 10 best value bottles that I have on my shelf right now? Well, stick around to find out. Welcome back to another episode of Neat Bourbon. My name's Tanner, and today we are talking about the top 10 best value bottles that I have on my shelf right now. Now, everybody's got their own list. Everybody knows that there are certain bottles out there that are absolute bangers in value. But, you know, what are the bottles that I actually own, the bottles that I actually drink, the bottles that I personally am reaching for that I think that are the best values and that I'm always going to be restocking on my bar. Now, that's the list that we're going to be covering today. So before we get going, guys, we have hit 2,000 subscribers. That's an unbelievable milestone to have achieved. And I am currently giving away a, a John J. Bowman single barrel and a Weller Antique 107. So if you want to be included in this giveaway, I will put a link right there. Or maybe it won't be there. I don't know. Sometimes it's difficult to edit that stuff in. Anyways, uh, I have a video. I will put a link down below if it's not right there. Uh, anyways, guys, so giving these two bottles away, the giveaway ends on Friday at 5 p.m. So go ahead and get entered if you're not already. All right, we start off with some low proofers. The best low proofers. I mean, we're going to, this the Blue Note Juke Joint, guys. Like, this is an absolute killer bottle. It's, they're out of Tennessee. This is coming in at 93 proof. It gives you a lot of, like, those Buffalo Chase Trace Cherry Notes, similar to, like, a Blanton's. Coming in around $30. And another one is Eagle Rare. I realize Eagle Rare is harder to find. 10 years age stated. 90 proof. But listen, like, you know, these bottles for in that like $30 to like $45 for a fifth of Eagle Rare. Fantastic values. So of the entry level Buffalo Trace line, like, I think the Eagle Rare is the best value. EH Taylor is my favorite. But I think uh, the Eagle Rare is the best value. So... Also, if you're a big fan of the Blue Note, they got the Uncut Unfiltered too, and they come in store picks. So these are freaking incredible values. I absolutely love these. So if you're Blanton's fans, can't find Blanton's, you know, these Blue Notes are fantastic alternatives. Next up, we're kicking it with the Rye. We're going with the Green River Rye. This bottle is absolutely lights out. Green River has a Rye, Weeded Bourbon, and Regular Bourbon. I've had them all at this point. They're all fantastic. I thoroughly dig the rye. This is my second rye. I actually bought the rye initially on my trip to Kentucky. We drank the whole thing there. I bought another one on my last day. Opened this when I got home. This bottle is absolutely fantastic. I was talking um, to the guys at Bard Sound. They're going to be coming out with uh, cash drink picks of this rye. So highly, highly excited to hopefully get my hands on one of those later on this year. So Green River, if you haven't had them, they're all phenomenal. You can get them for like $35 to like $40, you know. Um, I think here in Virginia they're like $45, but we don't always have the best price. But I've seen them online for like $35 to $40. So for $40, bucks, this is a phenomenal value. The we did, the bourbon, and the rye. Personally, kind of like the rye the best after trying all three. But anyways, Green River, killer value. Now we are knocking it up a notch. We're going with the Old Forester Single Barrel. So these are store picks. They are more difficult to come by than the cash strength. I know some of y'all are thinking, well, I can't even find the cash strength. How do you think I'm going to find one of these 100 proofs? Well, you know, if you can't find this bottle, it's around 59 bucks. The next best thing is the Cooper's Craft 100. Brown Foreman, Brown Foreman, 100 proof, 100 proof. Honestly, I think the Cooper's Craft would beat out a Old Forester single barrel 100 proof in a blind, but that's just me. They taste very, very similar, and the Cooper's Craft is actually what I'm drinking here today because it is that delicious. And these Cooper Craft can be found everywhere. They're like 40-ish dollars, so if you haven't had the Cooper, make sure you get the 100 proof because it does make a difference. Uh, I was making some cocktails with my mom and told her to get Cooper's Craft because that's the bottle that she she should have is her house bourbon. And she got like the 80 proof and I was uh, a little disappointed because uh, the 100 proof is just so much better. So anyways, this is the bottle that I recommended to my mom to have as her house bourbon. 
as a non-bourbon drinker to impress her guests. So if you haven't had it, get it. We're doing a quick break for an honorable mention here. This is the James E. Pepper. This is cash drank, like 59 bucks. You get so much of like that cherry forward sweetness, vanilla, like a cherry vanilla, you know, vibes going on with this with like light caramel. You get a decent amount of oak coming across in the palate too. If you haven't had the James Pepper, the cash drink, I think it's a fantastic bottle and an incredible value at like that under $60 price point. So if you haven't had James Pepper, worth the pickup or at least to try before you buy. For all the toasted fans out there, the Maker's Mark 46 French Oaked. This is a double oaked product. It's giving you all of that like toasted marshmallow sweetness that everyone always talks about in those mixtures. You know, toasted sour mash, the toasted rice, like those just light you up with all that butterscotchy toasted marshmallow sweetness. You get all of that in this bottle and you can find this one. And it comes in at cash strength. Maker's Mark is a weeder. They're always about, they're lower proof. They're always around like 108, 109 proof for cash strength. So these 46 French Oaks for in that like $60 price point, give you that elevated toasted, you know, drinking experience that you get in those other higher end like Victor's products. But you can find this one and it's affordable. So Maker's Mark 46 French Oak, I think, is a buy. They also make it in the 90 proof, but you know, I'm a cash drink guy, so this is the one that I drink. Moving into some cash drinks. Everybody knows that this bottle has to be on their list. The Elijah Craig Barrel Strengths. Now, everyone knows these things come out three times a year. Everyone says that they're amazing. And I gotta say, every time I come back to this bottle, I'm always floored by how good it is with all of those like deep, super rich brown sugars. You get so much of that, like that oaky chocolate there. These are just all along, all on the dark side of the flavor profile, and I dig them. Everyone went wild for that C923 last year. I personally think the A123 last year was the bell of the ball. So that is the bottle that uh, is one of my, the best values uh, for cash drinks. But my personal favorite isn't the Elijah Craig. It's the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof. This is the bottle that I don't think it's nearly enough love on the whiskey tube. This is an absolute light top bottle. They come in store picks, found everywhere. They're like $65, and you can get them in 375 bottles. I haven't been able to find one yet, but dang it, those are like the coolest looking little bottles, and I really want one, so I'm gonna buy one when I see one, because I just think they look sick. Uh, but anyways, yeah, the uh, Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proofs, they're all around like 129 proof. They just light you up with all that like flambe, you know, bananas, fosters, you know, rich brown sugar notes. I personally like this a little bit more than the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. And the best thing about the Jack Daniels is they've got the cash strength rye, which is something that Elijah Craig doesn't have yet. So... If you're a fan of the Elijah Craig's and you haven't had the Jack Daniels, give it a shot. Because I know the rye made a big hype out there when it was first released. But don't sleep on the bourbon. This one's been out there forever. Get it. It's a killer value. Lastly, I've said this multiple times, but these Four Roses single barrel barrel proofs are still for $99, I think that they're some of the best values in bourbon. Yes, they're $100, but some of them drink so special. I've just been lucky enough to buy some of the distiller's picks. So this is a distiller's pick, and then my buddy Kyle actually just dropped this one off for me today. Um, you get them at the distillery. Brett Elliott, their master distiller, like puts tasting notes on the side of these bottles. And I, like, I put this one up beside my 135 LE in like, Yes, they are pretty dang similar. So like, you can actually get these for a hundred bucks. Granted, they're not all this good. This one's like a top two for me. Yeah, I've had probably like 12, 15 of them, you know, at this point. Like these are like phenomenal. All, I personally kind of tend to tend to uh, favor the high rye mash bill, you know, over the low rye, which is 20%. Um, but that's neither here nor there. The Four Roses Single Barrel Barrel Proofs are you know, in my opinion, my personal favorite value out there on the shelf.
cash strength, 10 different offerings. You just can't beat it. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this list today. We covered more than 10 bottles. I just kind of wanted to let you know what are my personal favorites. What do I thoroughly enjoy drinking on? And what are the bottles that I'm always going to be restocking? Because that's what we covered here today. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you have, would you please consider giving me a like? Would you please consider subscribing? As always, my name's Tanner. This is Neat Bourbon. And pop your bottles and share the pours. And we'll see you in the next one.